The fourth International Bosphorus Film Festival is taking place in Istanbul until the 18th. In the last show, we talked about what the festival hopes to achieve. Today, we have two of its jury members for the short fiction film category, Pierre-Louis Ganon and Mattia Pisagic with us. Thank you for joining us on Showcase. Uh, so how has the festival experience been for you so far? Well, I like the festival. I really enjoy being here. It's my second time here on this Bosporus Film Festival. I like the people, I like the city, I like everything in, in Istanbul. I was really looking forward to being in Istanbul because that's my first time here in Turkey. Uh, really excited to see what is the young, uh, the young Turkey director, Turkish director is doing, making films. So, so far it's a real, real exciting experience. Mm -hmm. Well, you guys are judges in the short fiction category. Um, how has a typical day been at the festival in Istanbul? Well, we go to the screenings, like five of us, uh, five, you know, uh, two of us and then three other jury members. And we watch uh, 10 films in domestic category and 10 films in, t in international mm -hmm. category. And it's, it's a real treat to, to watch the films. Then we discuss them. Sometimes yeah. we yeah. argue. Mm -hmm. that's, that's the point of making and watching yeah. films. Yeah. Right. And uh, yeah, and that we met other people from the film industry, and it's always very, very pleasant and to, to you know to see people coming from different countries, country that uh, who gather who gather uh, who gather at the same place for for a week. Because I mean, I don't know if that's, that's the case for you, but uh, like the everyday rhythm during a festival is kind of different. So it's usually a good opportunity to think about your project, think about. F film in general and yeah yeah because you get inspired by looking what other people are making and you get even oh, inspired sure. by what other people's views of actual filming and telling the stories through cinema mm -hmm. well I know you can't give away too much the festival is still going on and you are judges but what has been your overall impressions of some of the movies you've watched uh, there's a there's a big variety <laughs> on subjects on the way film uh, tackle their subjects and uh, I don't think it depends on nationality or on or ages I mean how old the directors are but we can see that people are very inspired all over all over the world I mean we have how many different nationalities we have sure I think it's maybe eight eight or, or nine something. yeah here, eight or nine yeah yeah from different areas they're like yeah, really interesting films, and as you said, they're like really broad, broad subject subjects, and you cannot pinpoint which of those films were maybe the first film of an author, maybe you know the second or the third. They're really maturely done. That's great to hear. Great variety and quite mature films, you say. People are very inspired, right? So, films are inspiring as well, and I think it's a good thing because if the when you see the world, there's a lot of things going on. So f film has, I mean, cinema in general has a, a duty, has the role of, you know, expressing uh, ideas, express expressing, um, I don't know, reactions. Uh, it can be political, it, it can be uh, uh, very personal. And, uh, and that's what I like. I mean, that's what we expect from films. We, we yeah. want to be yeah. moved, we want to think, we want to be... I don't know, uh, we want to fear, we want to be annoyed. I mean, yeah, that's, yeah. that's what, we, yeah, we want to, yeah, exactly, yeah. so. Yeah, and we want to laugh as well. We, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, We appreciate films that are in genre of comedy, so, mm -hmm. and we welcome, you know, the authors to, to make comedies, to make more comedies. Mm -hmm. Well, this festival expressly aims to support Turkish cinema as well and, uh, you know, support more productions. Uh, what do you think about this aim? I really like the fact that the Turkish section, we mm. saw 10 films, mm, yeah. if I'm not mistaken, yeah, 10 films. And all the directors, they were really young. I mean, they were in their 20s. And for me, that's the best way to help future cinema because short film have always been and will I think will always be the best way to discover to scout for new talents and sure. they are they are tomorrow's express artistic expression right so I think helping 
young filmmakers to make film, help them to screen their, their film is the best way to support uh, yeah, future, future, future of cinema. cinema. Yeah, and I want to say that uh, like uh, short cinema is like a separate genre and it, it shouldn't be watched as a step to the feature film cinema because it's it has different kind of it, although it's the film right we're talking about the same kind of techniques of shooting the film but we can say that it could compare like for instance that the short films can be viewed as uh, like poetry and features maybe can be viewed as like narrative books or so maybe you're saying short films are a different art form than yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. I believe so. Not yeah. necessarily, yeah. Well, well, but it, <laughs> yeah, not necessarily. But there are like aspects you don't have to avoid like short film genre. You know that you don't have to use it only because it's maybe more available for young yeah, filmmakers to use I don't it know. only like that. What I like about short yeah. films is that it's the best way to be free in your expression. There is no commercial pressure or very, very few commercial pressure. Mm -hmm. um, so you're free to do whatever you want. You can tell the story the way you want. You can be very narrative, or you can just be, no, I'm going to do something very uh, experimental. You're very free. That's what I like about it. And uh, yeah, as I said, I think it's the best way to, to express yourself in a very different and young and complete way. Yeah, That's yes. yeah but as you said, so it turns out that it's harder to be so free if you're doing the features, right? Yeah. So yeah, it has that potential that maybe it's harder to implement into the feature films. Right? Mm -hmm. I like that you have slight different difference in opinions yeah, there. Okay. That's good to have on jury members, I guess. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Well, Mattia, you're actually working on the production of a series. Can you tell us what it is and the name and when we're yeah, going to Yeah, actually, to I'm doing a production of a short documentary series, mm -hmm. and I'm also doing a pilot for a short animated series. So it's completely different. Two you know, different yeah, two different works. things. Yeah. I'm maybe I'm artistically I'm more involved in that animated series. And as uh, that documentary series is concerned, I'm there I'm like a producer there, an organizer. I'm not an actual author. Mm -hmm. So we have just begun with with this animated project. And it's supposed to be like a series of 10 short films that each episode should last around five, 15 minutes. Mm -hmm. And it's actually like a, a French co-production. Okay. But we are just, you know, starting. It, just at the yeah, beginning yeah, because stages we are working of on the pilot, so we'll see what will happen with it. Mm -hmm. uh, tell us about your 2016 production, Willy the First. Yeah, Willy the First is a first feature film mm -hmm. that was directed by four young filmmakers, which is pretty unusual. Mm -hmm. uh, it was premiered in, uh, in Cannes during the Cannes Film Festival in the in section called Acid, which, uh, which gather a lot of uh, very independent film, mm -hmm. so low-budget low films. And it's an offbeat comedy uh, telling the story of a 50-year-old guy that has to, do, to deal with, you know, everything that you usually do when you're 20, like finding an apartment, saying, say no to your parents, get a scooter. So it's an offbeat comedy. Offbeat comedy get and, a um, scooter. Yeah. And uh, so it was screened in major international festival, and mm -hmm. it seems, and I hope that it's only the beginning, and maybe it will be screened someday in a Turkish film festival. I will. We're Hopefully, we look it. forward to seeing it. Yeah. Well, other than your duties of judging, there's also lots of screenings going on of uh, documentaries and feature films, and there's also other events at the festival. Uh, have you joined any so far, and what are you individually looking forward to? Well, I've been on some screenings of some additional program that was I don't know, two or three days ago. There are Kishlovsky's films, right? Mm -hmm. uh, and yeah, well, you know, I attend some of the screenings. And I think I will be attending some of the screenings of the films that we were judging. I want to see how the audience reacts to, yeah. to the film, especially domestic Turkish audience. I would like oh, to, right. to see that. Would that yeah. sway your judgment if the audience really liked it? No. No, it's no, no, just, no. Yeah. you know. I just want to feel, feel. what the audience. Uh -huh. Billy Wilder, he used to say, he used to say the, the, the audience is never wrong. So sometimes it's for me, I mean, it would be interesting yeah, yeah. to know if we were wrong or not. Yeah. Right. What about you? What are you looking forward to? Uh, actually, I haven't had the time to watch feature films 
mm -hmm. uh, until today. But since we have seen all the films, we had to judge. Maybe I'll have now I'll, I'll have time to, to to see feature films, and I also want to discuss uh, screenwriting with I don't know authors and producers here because it's uh, mm -hmm. I'm very interested in that process. Guys, thank you very much for joining us on Showcase, and hope you enjoy the rest of the festival. Thank you. Thank you.